Imagine the colossal shadow of a mechanical behemoth slicing through the misty skies, its thunderous rotors echoing like the heartbeat of a giant awakened from slumber. A machine so immense it defies the laws of flight and hauls the weight of entire battlefields. Welcome to Defense Digest, where we soar into the realm of aviation legends and today we're unleashing the awe-inspiring story of the Russian mill. Mi-26, the world's largest and most powerful helicopter, a Soviet-era titan that transforms impossible lifts into routine triumphs, leaving you gripping your seat as you wonder what gargantuan feats this sky monster will conquer next in an era of evolving warfare. Born in the cold depths of the 1970s at the Mill Moscow helicopter plant, the Mi-26 NATO codename Halo emerged as the ultimate successor to the Mi-6, designed to shoulder burdens no other rotorcraft could dream of with its maiden flight on December 14, 1977, propelling it into service by 1983 and full operational status in 1986. A engineering marvel stretching, 40 meters in length with a 32-meter eight-bladed main rotor that spins with the fury of two Lodorev D136 turboshaft engines, each belting out 11,400 shaft horsepower, enabling this 28-ton empty weight Colossus to heave a maximum takeoff weight of 56 tons at speeds up to 295 kilometers per hour. Cruising at 255 kilometers per hour over a 500-kilometer range with full payload or ferrying, one 920 kilometers empty, its cavernous cargo hold 12 meters long, 3.2 meters wide and 3.1 meters high, swallowing up to 20 tons of cargo from armored vehicles and artillery to 82 troops or 60 stretchers, making it indispensable for military deployments, disaster relief, and industrial halls where roads fear to tread. Picture the Mi-26 in action. During the Soviet-Afghan War, it ferried troops and supplies through treacherous mountain passes. At Chernobyl in 1986, brave crews dropped 5,000 tons of sand and boron onto the raging reactor, shielding the world from nuclear catastrophe despite radiation risks that claimed lives and grounded airframes. In modern times, it starred in UN peacekeeping missions, hauled downed Chinook helicopters in Afghanistan for the US, and even transported frozen mammoths from Siberian permafrost while exports to nations like India, China, Algeria, and Venezuela bolster their heavy lift capabilities, with variants like the upgraded Mi-26T2 boasting glass cockpits, digital avionics, and reduced crew from 5 to 2, enhancing night operations and precision with phatic engine controls and inertial navigation. Yet, this beast isn't without rivals surpassing the American CH-53 K King Stallion's 16-ton lift. It holds FAI world records for altitude with payload, like reaching 5,600 meters with 25 tons, but demands meticulous maintenance for its titanium rotor hubs and composite blades that withstand extreme loads, consuming fuel at rates up to 9 liters per second in hover, a testament to Russian ingenuity in forging a helicopter that laughs at gravity. As the Mi-26's rotors fade into the horizon, laden with mystery cargo bound for remote frontiers, a thrilling suspense builds what cataclysmic event will summon its might next. How will hypersonic threats or drone integrations redefine its role in tomorrow's battles? Subscribe to Defense Digest for more pulse racing revelations on the machines that dominate the skies, because the next aerial epic is hovering just out of sight, ready to descend with earth-shaking force.